Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back guys. As always, I will leave information regarding what decks of cards I use and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. Let's see what the message is for you guys. Let's see. Okay, suffering in silence here. Deception and envy. Okay. Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the universe. Okay. Um, somebody is keeping to themselves feelings after cheating, lying, deceiving, after hiding these, trying to hide these things from you. They're now trying to keep their true feelings from you. They are the ones suffering. I promise you, they are the ones suffering right now for the lies, the deception, the cheating here. The universe is making sure they are getting what they deserve. Um, we just call it reaping what you sow, right? What you put out, you get back. Um, some people want to say karma, but I don't like to attach a negative term to karma, right? It's just what we put out, we get back. So this is somebody who um, was cheating, lying, deceiving. So even if you was putting that energy out there, um, for whatever reason, the universe is now delivering back to people what they've been putting out there. Um, somebody is overthinking, having anxiety about um, how do I get over this mountain? How do I talk to you? How do I say um, that I was cheating and this and that? And what was the reason I was cheating? Um, I think you already know this is something that's going on within themselves. So this is the difficulty for them. Seven challenges in numerology. The nine related to hermit to self. This is something going on within themselves. They this is the person who cheated. So, you know, because we have cross watchers on general readings and things like that, it could be a Gemini that's cheated or it could be somebody who cheated a Gemini. You could have been a Gemini dating a Gemini, right? Um, but this is somebody who cheated here, who is now having these difficulties, now suffering for their actions. Um, wow. And I, I think like we don't want people to suffer, but we want them to acknowledge their actions at least um so that they can learn from it so this is somebody suffering now in silence so it's like they're not telling you like i'm doing really bad now without you and this is happening and that's happening and stuff but the universe here we can say this is you know karma having everybody's address here <laughs> it's like putting a face to karma is delivering them what they have been sowing into this world. So, yeah, let's see. Eight of Wands, okay. So they're having a lot of things happening to them at once, dealing with a lot of karma at once here. Um, eventually, this person will message you. Uh, Eight of Wands here, communication coming in. Um, they might even try to start with flirting, okay, guys? So they might try to say, Hey, what you're trying to disguise, still trying to disguise their true feelings. Um, and I think that's because they want to gloss over their pain rather than feel it. Um, they're probably thinking if they make it right with you, they've made it right with the universe, but it's not so. What we put out, we shall receive. The hermit, they have to go into hermit mode. We said the nine here is related to the hermit, but they have to then go into hermit mode and seek the answers within themselves. So they're going to come to you probably wanting to talk about things, wanting to talk about why um, maybe they deceived you. And let's see. Um, because this is, I feel like you're the hermit in this situation that, you know, these messages are coming towards you. You might have been in hermit mode. You could have been soul searching um, on your spiritual path, finding a higher meaning here. I was just going to say, um, I'm drawn to the stars here. And the next card was the star anyway, probably because I didn't say it. But um, yeah, I feel like you guys have been really delving deep um, into your meaning, the meaning of life, the spirituality, you know, ascension, um, either getting help from spiritual mentors or 
training to become a spiritual mentor here. Um, the start, this was destined that they are now going to come back and communicate this, okay? Um, so it's not like everything that's happening is happening for a reason here that, you know, first of all, the lies, the deception, um, them going into the Nine of Swords and overthinking it, worrying and things like that, you going into hermit mode, um, it was all set up this way for you guys to learn. They need to move from the Nine of Swords into hermit mode so that they can heal. There's major healing that you are undergoing in hermit mode. They are missing out on the healing because they are going to the Nine of Swords instead, worrying, um, thinking about the heartache that was caused, regret, um, you know, anxiety, sleepless nights and things like that, all because of their own deception here. Two of Wands. So, um, the choice is yours, but there's going to be a crossroads here now where this person now comes back into your life. It could have been that you've waited a long time for this to happen and you could be more or less healed with the star card. Um, but it's now time for this person to come back. And again, this crossroads, two of wands, this decision will, you know, impact as we go forward here. So let's see. The tower, yeah, this is going to be a real shock that they come back. Um, I don't think you're expecting it because I feel like it could have been a long time that you haven't heard from them with them suffering in silence. Um, so it's going to be shocking that they even come back. Um, because you've done so much healing and so much work lifting your vibrations and your energy, um, you're getting what you put out into the universe. So if you was good to this person, and let's say just as a basic standard, you didn't deserve what they was putting out, it doesn't mean that you're going to get revenge on them. It means that, you know, something is going to come back to them. Um, quite shocking, actually, as well. They're going to go through a tower moment. So they choose that they felt comfortable and they could rely on you. They felt loved by you. And I feel like this is why they're rushing back. Um, let's see. <laughs> they feel they have unfinished business now. So they're rushing back. I don't know if you're going to close down them as they come towards you because they are coming towards you during Venus retrograde. Not a great time in the retrogrades to come back. It is a great time to reconnect, but maybe not just try to pick up where we left off. People need to be healed. Um, so I don't know if you're going to shut them down with the world card because you have done a lot of work and healing on yourself. Um, you know, and say if you're coming back in the Knight of Wands energy just to, you know, cheat with me maybe if they're with somebody else now they're trying to cheat with you or something here because this knight of wands can be very passionate energy it just might mean they want to get to you in urgency or it could mean they're coming in to try and drain you um we'll say sensually uh for youtube so they might come in and try their luck that way and then feel like renewed you know their ego is reboosted here so um don't do that because you would end up with the tower again after reboosting them but there is an opportunity for this to be healed with the star because it definitely feels like you guys were destined to play major parts in each other's lives. It just happens that it's coming in towers and shocking events and um, really things that impact your life. So this person coming back will really impact your life here. Hi Priestess, some of you can feel them coming. It has taken a long time. Um, and look what they have to offer. Because they're coming as a knight, what they have to offer is kind of small here. This is somebody who's scared of commitment. And um, this is why they feel, you know, get a quick fix of my ego in the Knight of Wands energy. But if you're more cautious in your approach to them and slow it down, look, hey, you aren't coming in and just doing the deed and what have you. Um, they'll have to then go at your pace and at your level. So they'll have to look at themselves and go into hermit mode and look inside themselves for the answer. I feel like at this point, you're the high priestess or a hermit here. Um, like I said, becoming a spiritual mentor, your intuition will be off the chart. So you can probably feel that they're on their way to you here. Um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like, you know, karma's not a negative thing. We want to be putting good things out in the world, but they're definitely getting something, 
yeah, slow it down. The advice here is, you know, they took a long time because um, this is somebody who's not moving, right? And then with the Knight of Pentacles, that is slow energy. They've taken a long time to come towards you and they're only coming towards you in a night energy. So if you have done the spiritual work and you are the high priestess here, you know better to, than to let them just come in and do what they gotta do, right? Because then it'll require more healing. This person still needs to heal in order to be on the right track with you. Um, you know, eventually, if you do want to get back together, it would require this person healing more, um, ascending more. And then you might both become like spiritual mentors when we're giving back to with our service to humanity. A lot of things have been going on where you've had to deal with the fourth house, a lot of things regarding home life with Saturn. So that means things from childhood, things within the family. But do remember happiness is your birthright even if you was born into a family you know that was where you're the black sheep it's still your birthright i am the dreamer of my dream you are the creator of your life here okay guys remember that i am a spirit having a human experience and i'm here to get closer to love so we've got to look at them through the lens of love whether we want to be with them or not there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Just remember, guys, I leave information regarding personal readings in the description box. Good luck.